Hi, I'm Linda van Roosmalen. I'm at the University of Pittsburgh, Department of Rehab Science and Technology. I am one of the researchers on the Rehab Engineering Research Center on Wheelchair Transportation Safety. I work there as an investigator and also as a designer. My background is actually um, in industrial design engineering from the Technical University in Delft, the Netherlands. I came here about 12, 13 years ago and um, I had my master's in industrial design, but I wanted to do some more development for people with disabilities. So I ended up in Pittsburgh uh, 13 years ago and I started my doctoral work here at the Department of Rehab Science and Technology. The doctoral work was in the area of transportation safety and I'm actually still in that area uh, since there is a lot of development going on and there's a lot of uh, need for more design so I really feel at home in this type of environment uh, where you can do research as well as product development. So the RERC on wheelchair transportation safety is focusing on a lot of different projects and we have received funding from the National Institutes for Disability and Re Research to look at issues related to transportation of people seated in wheelchairs and scooters. And these issues occur not only in smaller vehicles where people can drive in uh, their wheelchair into a vehicle and drive from their wheelchair, but we are also looking at uh, transportation environments in large public buses where operators are actually entering and exiting wheelchairs and scooters. And uh, some of the other projects that we focus on is standards development, where we work with industry to come up with industry standards and best practices uh, to improve safety for people seated in wheelchairs. And then finally, we have a project that focuses on the crashworthiness of wheelchairs. What happens if a wheelchair, if somebody's seated on a wheelchair and a, and a wheelchair is secured in a vehicle and the vehicle's in a crash type situation? So we are really looking at all the issues related to safety of individuals seated in wheel mobility devices and when they're being transported or when they drive themselves in a motor vehicle. As part of the RERC, I've done a lot of product development and to try to make systems safer and easier to use. Uh, for people with limited dexterity, people with limited function. So one of the projects I worked on, for example, is um, looking at different seat belts. Uh, here you see actually seat belts uh, on a retractor and um, I came up with a looping system to easier pull the, the um, latch plate and um, make it easier for people with limited dexterity to, to hook up their fingers behind the, this loop. Uh, another part we have been working on is to come up with alternative ways to release a buckle instead of pushing a button and release a buckle um, this allows you to rotate a buckle and then release a latch plate. Uh, some other projects we worked on uh, together also with Dr. Hobson is a system that makes it easier for people to secure their wheelchair in a vehicle. We call this uh, so-called automated docking system. It basically allows somebody seated in a wheelchair to easily uh, back up into a system and then the automatic locking system grabs the chair from the back. Uh, a recent development uh, I worked on is a drive-in occupant restraint. If you can imagine that there are people seated in wheelchairs and power wheelchairs driving in smaller vehicles, driving themselves, uh, they may not have the dexterity to buckle themselves up. So we came up with a solution that a wheelchair user can simply drive into a seatbelt system without having to buckle up. And this system is currently being um, crash tested and uh, we're trying to commercialize it together with a, a commercial partner, Qstraint. And then a final project we're currently working on and that's under development is a system that's being used in a private, sorry, in a public bus where wheelchair users can easily drive into the system, push a button, and there's a, a barrier coming down onto the person's lap, as well as to the side of the person in the wheelchair, preventing the chair from tipping and preventing the wheelchair seated occupant from moving forward or backward.
So the IRC on transportation safety is not only at the University of Pittsburgh. We actually are a collaborative effort between the University of Michigan, the University of Louisville, and the University of Pittsburgh. So with this, I'd like to invite you to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and definitely visit our website if you'd like to know more about what we are doing.